Let's get hard. Let's get hard. Uh, World Government Summit, they're talking about, one, creating their own digital currencies mm-hmm. and um, and two, centralising it and, and regulating mm-hmm. digital currencies. Is there like a big concern for people like yourself or is there just a concern in that to begin with? Because I think the detachment from the state is the biggest appeal mm-hmm. of uh, digital currency. Uh, yeah, look, I think that... Yes, it would be ideal that the if there were central bank digital currencies, like if we had one here, that it that it was were to be dis- decentralized. But to be honest, it's probably not going to be. Mm-hmm. They're going to want to. The cool thing about them is they allow you to do certain things and achieve certain things because it's smarter My than money. Off Silk Road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but like if you like if you said, for example, like we made a a digital Aussie dollar and then we went into a recession and we wanted to give out stimmy checks to everybody like let's say we want to give everyone 500 bucks yep but we don't want them to fuck off to bali and spend it we yeah. want them to spend it in yeah in Perth. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we could yeah. put a rule on the on the currency to say that this has to be spent within two months in perth you know like or something like that so like i think is that a concern that though yeah, that's kind of because scary, is that, that like with the you see the trucker convoy in Canada, mm. bank accounts being frozen for yeah. donating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not suggesting that it's it's under the guise of a good idea, yeah. but at the same time, doesn't mean it can't be abused by the state, which is again going against what yeah. they're trying to achieve. So, I think that that Canadian trucker thing was quite an interesting positive for Bitcoin, and and what it really for those who don't know the story, they yeah, uh, can explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, there was a. Um, a protest in in that was shutting down the streets. Was it Toronto? Yeah. Oh, it was across basic. Yeah, yeah all of Canada. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. And and these truckers had you know stopped working to to protest for higher wages or or lack of no, it was mask mandates. It was, it was man, it was yeah. mandates and, and government yeah. oversight in yeah. general. Yep. Yeah. And <coughs> and then uh yeah supporters of of the cause were donating Bitcoin to these truckers because they said this is a way to circumvent. Navigate. They'd already had their bank accounts frozen. These truckers. Mm. Um, we could circumnavigate it with crypto, which is insane to think already that a government can just say, "Hey, you're protesting it's against terrifying. the state. Yeah, you're protesting against our oversight, yeah. and we're just going to say, no, nah, you can't spend your money anymore.' That's ridiculous. Which is ridiculous. Yeah. To so that's with. a real positive for for Bitcoin in the f- at the very first instance. But then they went to ban mm. and block your Bitcoin accounts, mm. and how they're able to do this is because. Um, so a company like Coinbase that operates in um, in Canada will require a license to to offer their services there from the government. So when the government says, "Hey, we're going to revoke your license unless you you know blacklist all these names um, and block their accounts," then um, you know you, yeah. So they would have threatened them to to do that. And and I guess it it goes to this this um, this notion of. Uh, not your keys, not your coins, and what that means is that when you own a Bitcoin or hold Bitcoin on a on an exchange, it's 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 not actually in your wallet; it's mm. in the exchange's wallet, mm. and then they have the custody of it ultimately. Mm. And in a situation like this, it's really exposed the 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 I guess the downside of keeping your crypto on an exchange. So, mm. um, what it does show is that people kept donating Bitcoin to these guys after all of that happened. They just went not through exchanges, they went through custodial wallets, which are ones that you can download on your computer mm. or like little USBs. Then you can just plug into the internet anywhere and send Bitcoin to anyone. Nobody can stop it. Hey, Hard Yarners, hope you liked that clip. If you would like more clips like that, click here. If you want to watch the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, click here. And as always, join the Patreon for more risque content. Let's get hard.